story to tell. Russia's S-500 air defense system, which is believed to not only combat aircraft, missiles, and space weapons, but also satellites in low Earth orbit, has completed tests and is about to enter service in the army of this country. According to the commander of the missile defense forces of the Russian Aerospace Forces, Major General Sergei Babakov, currently a number of tests have been carried out with launches of anti-aircraft guided missiles at air targets. All tests have been completed with positive results. As reported by Izvestia, Russia has started a completely new missile with the S-500 system. According to the Sergei Chemezov, head of the Russian defense manufacturer Rostec, the first prototypes of the system will be put into service this year, while mass deliveries are expected to take place in 2025. The S-500 has been dubbed the Space Defense System for its ability to destroy targets in low orbit space. In addition to hypersonic missiles, medium-range ballistic missiles, and ICBMs, it was developed by the Armas Anti-Consortium, which also manufactures the S-400 and S-300 systems. The Prometheus S-500 is expected to have an extended range of up to 600 km, 200 km improvement over the S-400. The radar's range is also higher than the S-400, and the system will have the potential to destroy hypersonic and ballistic missile targets at an altitude of more than 18,500 meters. In previous tests, the S-500 system was said to have hit the target missile from a range of 480 kilometers, which is the longest range strike of any air defense system. According to the unofficial information, the S-500 will have a response time of about 3 to 4 seconds, less than half of the 9 to 10 seconds of the S-400. The main missiles with the S-500 are the 4T N6, a 9.1 meters long solid fuel missile capable of reaching Mark 9 has a fragmentation warhead. The S-500 will have two new types of missiles, 77N6N and 77N6N1. These are missiles developed to engage incoming ballistic missiles and warheads at very high altitude at near space. The 77N6 has a maximum range of 600 km and can reach an altitude of 200 km. The S-500 is expected to use the 91N6A combat management radar and 96L6 target acquisition radar. Other components will be the large vehicles and the command vehicle. My video about the Russian S500 answer. Thank you for watching.
you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.